Hi, my name is Mark, and uh, the summer is here, and it's festival season. And here is Nina. Hi, Hi. Nina. How Hi. are you? I'm good, thanks. How are you? Good, very well. Thank you very much. So, um, you're a, a festival producer, is that right? I am indeed. And as a festival producer, your job is to make sure that artists have a good time. Would that be correct? Yes, I would count that among one of the many jobs that I do, yeah. So, obviously in a festival, I've heard there's a VIP tent, it's the place to be, is that right? Mm-hmm, definitely. Okay, what are some good stories you can tell me about the, the sort of the VIP area? One of the, the coolest things that happened um, a couple years ago was that the uh, entire VIP tent area was, was filled with artists, and for some reason, um, artists from different bands decided that it would be a really good idea to um, make a human pyramid. And so we ended up having like five, five guys in the bottom, and then four and three and two and one. Okay. And it was, a, it was a bit of a feat. It looked really cool. It's a bit of a strange question, but if you were a drink, what would you be and why? Not a strange question at all. Um, I would be a jello shot. A jello shot? Yes. Okay. And One why? of those green fluorescent jello shots. Okay, good. Um, and why? Because it's a drink you can eat. It is a drink you can eat. Yeah, I right. like it. Brilliant. Nina, you know, what kind of drinks do you like to drink in the summertime? Something refreshing. Uh, definitely, definitely. Something, uh, I don't know, thirst quenching, something with a lot of ice, something zesty. Zesty. Yeah. Very nice. Okay, good. I think we can do something for you. Great. Okay, so the drink that we're going to make is called the bowling ball. The bowling We're going to make it in this fantastic bowl here. That's huge. Great. We're going to need some ice, and okay. um, the ice is actually in the freezer okay. in two cartons of milk. If you could grab it for me, milk please. Milk cartons. Yeah. Okay. And there's a bit of a tip here. When you're looking to use a large bowl, it really helps when the ice is large because it, it melts slower and it means the drink stays tastier. And you can use just a normal milk carton, wash it out properly, and uh, fill it full of water. And uh, you can serve up to 20 people with this drink pretty happily. Okay, great. Just tell me what to do. What we need to do, uh, we need four limes okay. that go in here. But uh, a quick tip for you, actually. Before you cut the lime, if you roll it, it releases the, uh, the flavor and the juices inside. So when you actually cut it, a lot more comes out into the drink rather than staying in the fruit. Do you get to make many drinks when you're actually at festivals or are you more mm. uh, focused on making sure that people aren't doing things they shouldn't be? Yeah, I'm, I'm probably the one, nice um, one drinking the drinks more okay. than making the drinks. So you do most of your work actually before you get to the festival? Yeah, and most you of you kind of relax when you get there or? Uh... Yeah, in an ideal situation, nothing happens and I can just sit around, you know? No. Ah. Because my work is done. I really like this drink because we use a whole bottle of Koskin Cordova vodka. Sounds good. All in one. So, All right. here we go. Great, Perfect. great, good start. Then, just to finish it off, apple juice and lemonade. Okay. Wow. Okay, now's the time to finish off the drink. Right. And uh, I'm going to need your help again, if that's okay. okay. Sure. We have... A nice lime. Mm -hmm. Just take the end off, and if you can cut in sections, we're looking for wheel shapes. Okay. And they're actually going to go on the top just to make it look pretty. All right. And I'm going to get some basil here. If you take the very top of the basil, mm -hmm. it allows the plant to grow, and these are often the tastiest leaves anyway. So. All right. Give some up. Put some of these in. All right. Should I just pop them in? Yeah. Just pop them in any way you like. Beautifully laying on top. Lovely. Okay, Nina, it's time to try the drink. Great. I'm just going to get you a glass. But while I'm doing that, do you ever get to party with the stars after a gig? Well, mostly it's work, but occasionally we do get to have the, uh, the random party. Okay. And it's always good fun. Last time we did a massive conga line, which was great. All right, here goes nothing. Go for it. That's delicious. Powerful. That really is. Yes. Tasty. Yeah, to my liking. So Nina, can you tell me about the best 10 seconds you've ever had at a festival? Um, I think it would have to be the, the point at which a festival that you're producing, when it's coming to the end, and you can see the headliner on the stage, and the sun will be setting, and the crowd goes wild, and you can, you know, take a deep breath and tell yourself you can be proud. Job well done. Exactly. That would be the best. Awesome. Nina, thank you very much. Really good to see you. And uh, now for the 10 second drink. This is a great refresher for summertime. Squeeze in half a lime, fill the glass with ice, measure and add Koskin Cod with vodka, top up with lemonade and apple juice, and stir and garnish with basil. Now you make it with Koskin Cod with vodka. Find us on Facebook for more great tips.